Hey y'all, I'm Daquan Perry. I play hooker, number two. My high school had rugby, but uh, I didn't really want to play it at first. It was an English cast with my friend Dondre, and Dondre was like, yo bro, uh, you might as well play rugby, like, you could be good. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I kept saying, I don't know. Then my senior year, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out and play, and now we're here. I played football, I wrestled a little bit, I did some track and field. I always played basketball for fun, never was on an organized team or anything. Else. But uh, football was my big sport. In football, I was a fullback, running back, DN, and a little linebacker, so it was like all the positions where you constantly are in contact. So transferring over to rugby, uh, I kind of, I don't know, I like contact, so it wasn't really like that much different. The, the passing was hard because you don't really have to pass in football. You just get the ball and kind of just go. Or on defense, you have a job, you move. But uh, everywhere uh, in rugby, you got to learn how to do everything. You play every position where in football, whatever position you have is your job. Like it's your one job. So that's... Uh, that's a little bit, that was made it an easier transition. I got a lot of jokes at first for the short shorts, but uh, they got used to it, you know? They got used to it. Uh, without pads, they kept calling me a little bit crazy there, like you're crazy for not wearing pads, but uh, I kept trying to explain to them it's, it's safer than uh, football, a little bit safer. So I played my senior year and then went cold turkey with football when uh, I got to play in uh, rugby PA. And then uh, Doc Jones was there to watch me uh, play and uh, he was like, hey, we could have a spot for you up at Kutztown if you're willing to come. And I was like, you know what? Like, I felt wanted, you know? And I was like, they're D1 for rugby. So I was like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. And then I was a COVID grad. So then I played up a sanctioned game up in Pelham. Got to talk to uh, uh, the former coach, Marty, Steve Lewis, and Rick was also there. And I worked my way up in the ranks from the academy team playing club. And now I'm here and I'm grateful. It's a blessing. This might make me sound crazy, but I liked how 15th was just like war. It's like you and your brothers versus the other team. And it's like everybody can run ball, everybody can tackle, and it doesn't really stop. Like it's just constantly going, which was different from football. Like I do love football. That was my first love, but rugby definitely uh, made its way up in my heart. It's like it has like the, the basketball feel where it's like, oh, you got me on this end, but when I get the ball, like, it's my turn or like you can get somebody a big hit. It's just like, I love the, the back and forth that can happen. It's very competitive. Now the debut was crazy, but playing in front of, in the home game, in front of friends and family, that's just, you hear the stands and everything, and you know, they thrive off that. Like the crowd's energy is like, you know, it keeps you going. It's like, even when you're tired, it's just like you hear them and it, it just makes you, it just gives you that second second burst of wind, second burst of energy. I didn't even know what rugby was until high school. I'm grateful for the sport. That, that pill-shaped ball definitely changed my life, took me places that I never thought I would go. But I would not think I would be here if I was uh, a little kid again. The game itself is, is poetry. Once you get it down, learning where to be, learning the stuff you do. Uh, patience, I, everybody wants to be in. That's the competitive part in the athlete, but Learning from everybody and learning from like people that's been playing the game a lot longer, you learn like there's always little things you can change, little things you can do, be in a better spot. So I say being more patient definitely. You know it's very hard to make uh, a college D1 football team in this country, even D2 or D3, they're all very competitive. The NFL is uh, very competitive as well, but don't limit yourself. You know you can get a college education through rugby as well. Um, I was blessed to do that. So I would say play as many sports as you can. Uh, Rugby is a great one. All you need is some shorts and some cleats. Less expensive than some of the other ones. And everybody can play it, no matter what size, how much you weigh. It's a spot on the field for everybody. I just, let's keep it up. Let's keep it going.